day two of getting our porch garden ready and we are actually planting stuff today. So we are going to show you what you're, we are planting. So we have lettuces, we have a couple varieties. This is butter and then what other one did we pick out? Red. Red. Where is it? Did I leave it in the house? It's right here. Oh, it's on the bottom. So we're planting butter lettuce and red and we're going to put those in the beds and then we're planting this big i think it's a big bertha yeah green pepper plant it's going to be sweet and we have 50 million let's see varieties of tomatoes i'm pretty sure you picked varieties the kids picked varieties i picked varieties um dead leaf and so we're going to be planting the majority of the peppers. We have jalapenos, we have brandy, brandy wine, San Marzano's, cherry, what other ones? Grape. Grape. We have all sorts of tomatoes and peppers and we're going to be planting the majority of those in the pots um, because those do better in there. And we also bought some tomato cages and climbers and stuff. We, are not, we have cucumbers, mm -hmm. green squash. beans, squash zucchini, some other stuff that we're not planting yet because it's not warm enough. Oh, you were also planting onions. Down on the bottom. On the bottom. We're going to give them a go. We may not be here for them to get like really big because they take 75 to 100 days. Um, but we might just have baby yellow onions. Yeah, it looks like good. I'm talking to nobody. Damon's over here. Right He's here. just off camera. So. We are going to get planting. I'm going to put the onions in this bed. There, how's that work? Good yeah. for you. And then we're going to put the lettuce there. So these say... Uh, 8 to 10 inches apart. Okay. Perfect. And it only needs 3 to 6 hours of sun. Okay. So. Break them over for me, Mama. You... So in the summer months, it's really hard to grow lettuce if it gets really hot where you live. Um, lettuce only needs like three to six hours of sun. So do not plant them where they're going to get sun all day long. I learned that last year and I had lettuce that bolted and was super bitter. So another thing I learned is that um, the bigger the lettuce gets, the more bitter it is. So. pots of lettuce got worms like overnight and I came out and like literally the whole pot of lettuce was eight. <laughs> you weren't here for that though were you baby? She's a beaut. Big Bertha needs full sun. Okay. And we're growing Big Bertha in a plant, in a pot, I mean. I'm not telling you, I'm telling our people. Oh. Our peeps. So, too much. Whoops. Okay. We're just going to go back and forth for fun. Can you see? Alright, come on Big Bertha. Yeah, you want I don't know. Do I have it? I have it. Yeah, flip it. Okay. Oh, well, that Okay, if you don't need it anyways. Ah, she's a cute. Yeah. Save that just in case. 
Big Bertha. Yeah. We've given birth to Big Bertha. Okay. I'm trying to stick the tag. Right, put this over here. That's what the jalapenos <laughs> need. All right, so they need full sun too, 18 to 24 inches apart. Do you think we could put two jalapenos in a pot, or you think we should put the jalapenos in a bed? I think we can just put them in a bed. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, we don't have that many. I think we only have like four. One, two. I say we put them by the onions. The onions will do good with them. Yeah. So let's put them over. All right. Let's put them right here in the middle. We'll make a little All thing right, right here. I'm gonna make sure I don't mix up peppers and tomatoes because that would be bad. For our seedlings and stuff, I just found these little um, cups on Amazon. It came with like a hundred of them for like twelve bucks. And it even came with the little markers to write on. Also, garden manicure. Shout out to Rebecca Rhodes. I think I confused this with a tomato. Because I put snack tomato. We didn't buy snack tomato, but we bought snackable peppers. So I'm pretty sure this is a pepper, not a tomato. <laughs> And this too. Yes. Maybe one more, because I think that might be one down there too that I mislabeled. Yes, yeah, snack tomato. <laughs> Whoops. We have lots of peppers, huh? Mm -hmm. Four of each, huh? Yeah, it's not very deep down here. Maybe you want some more dirt? Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's a little blustery. One more. That's all the peppers. Everything we have left is tomatoes. Oh, and we have one carrot that lived out of all the carrots that we planted. Mm -hmm. So we can probably plant the carrot by the onions, right? The mm -hmm. one yeah. carrot. Do we want to do the onions here? Let's see how much space they need. Should be able to plant them. Yeah, only four inches. So we should, those will take up a very small corner. Why don't we just put them down the In middle? In the middle? Yeah, we could do that. Are you splitting them or are we just going? No, they just go like this. Oh. Oh no. Rut row large. Damon is way better about getting the plants out and keeping them all intact than I am. Even after he showed me the trick where you squeeze the bottom, I'm still not very good at it. Those ones are kind of dry though, maybe that's why. Oh, I hear thunder. You're such a good gardener, babe. I'm gonna plant these ones that look really healthy for sure, and then whatever other ones are kind of okay, Grant. Meh. We'll plant this those. just have to add more as they get bigger maybe oh they're only going to get like this big in pots mm. full sun mm -hmm. all the tomatoes are full sun the rain is a coming and then we can fit two more over there can we fit any in front of the beds yeah we can i got that Sweet. pepper in front of it that's why i turned it like this the other day See, I think if we get down deeper in there, it's all right. This was our microgrid. Oh. <laughs> this is 
life together, Lace. <laughs> Hang on, let me retry that. <laughs> this was our microgreen tray. You're gonna squat down. And we actually, it worked really well for seedlings because I could roll them in and outside of the house. Ta-da! All our little tomatoes. What do you want to do? Because it's about to storm. Um, let's see if it gets rain just naturally, and if it doesn't, we'll come out and water them. Well, it will right here. Yeah. That's why I put it under the gutter. All right, yeah, let's just let them be, and we'll come back out and move them. If they're not wet enough, we'll, we'll just water them a little bit. I'm just worried about it being too cold of them. No, we'll watch. We'll watch the temperature. Here's our little strawberry. He's so cute. And then we'll show you the nasty rain clouds. Um, what it looks like now. Go blue. So we got our little baby carrot plant. I don't know if it'll live. It's the only one out of our seedlings that lived. All the lettuce. We'll probably plant stuff down the middle too. Do you want to water these? Yeah, because these won't, won't, won't get rain. Our little onions. This won't blow away if it's no, it won't blow away. Jalapenos <laughs> and mini peppers. And then we're saving this spot for like green beans and strawberries. It's ready? You're gonna pick it? You better not eat it. The boys will be sad. Ta da! Our first strawberry. It's beautiful. All right, babe, send us off. Oh, two? Boys, look at Daddy picked the first two strawberries. Each get one. Oh, he shocked me. Here. All right. Tell me how it is. Is it sweet, sour? Mmm. Very sweet. Is it? Mm, yeah, sweet. Homegrown. Delicious. Don't okay. eat the stem. <laughs> mm. It's a little sour towards the top. Yeah. Is yours sour at all, Deck, or no? Mm, let me try. No. Nice. I like sweet strawberries, not sour. Hey, Farmer Damon. The boy said the strawberries were delicious. Good. Thank you, strawberry plant. Grow us some more strawberries. 